Reuters uh, is reporting some amazing news today. They say that an Ebola vaccine was 100% successful uh, in a trial in Guinea. Quote, initial results from the trial, which tested Merck and New Link Genetics VSV ZBOV vaccine on some 4,000 people who had been in close contact with a confirmed case of Ebola, showed 100% protection after 10 days. The results were described as remarkable and game-changing by global health specialists. The vaccine could now be used to help end the worst recorded outbreak of Ebola, which killed more than 11,000 people in West Africa since it began in December 2013. So this is just, I mean, insanely good news. Now, I want to be clear that some of the headlines uh, on articles about this say that they are almost at a vaccine. I don't know why they're hedging, because when I read the article, it made clear that, like, we already have it. So there's got to be something I'm missing here where they're saying, no, no, we are almost there and we have this hurdle to still get over, but we'll likely get there. So I don't want to, you know, say 100% it's here. But what I will say is uh, it appears as if it is here. <laughs> and it appears that if it's not here, we're almost there. And my takeaway from this is the same takeaway I have whenever we talk about science issues. I mean, imagine we lived in a world where people valued science as much as they value religion. The overwhelming majority of the world is religious. Imagine if the overwhelming majority of the world not only was okay with science and cool with it, but they actively pushed to try to advance it. And there was a place that everybody went to on Sunday where you discussed, uh, you know, philosophy, or you discussed the recent scientific breakthroughs, instead of going to church and reading old passages from desert books, you go there and you talk about, hey, new treatment for malaria, look at that, isn't that fucking awesome? Hey, new vaccine we got, rock and roll everybody, isn't this fantastic? Hey, we found a way to cure this problem and that problem, the world we live in would be such a better place. And understand, we covered the story not that long ago, Republicans blocked funding for the U.S. to increase uh, money flowing to a vaccine for Ebola. So there's where our priorities lie, specifically with our right-wingers. I said it before, I'll say it again. I'm, n I'm not often in favor of a blank check to go to different uh, areas or issues or topics. With science, I am. With medical research, I am. Because everything religion wishes it could do, oh, cure people and fix people of their pain and whatnot, all that... Science actually does. Science actually has the potential, and oftentimes it just does do it. It can cure people. It can fix people. It can help people. So the, you don't put your, your hope in the guys in the Vatican wearing the ornate dresses and funky hats. Put your hope in the guys wearing the white lab coats who are spending hours and hours every single day trying to find the answers to make humanity a better place and to make our quality of life go up. That's where the real answer lies, and that's where we should put our efforts and our funding, because we could have cured many more diseases if we'd already done that.